What's going on, everybody? My name is Attack One Five Nine, and you're watching Sky Factory Two Point Five. Welcome, to Episode Two, the one where we might actually make a little bit of progress. Probably not. So to start off, um, just want to cover a few things. I made a stone wand from the Better Builders wand. Uh, this it works like a regular old-fashioned builders wand, but it's extremely cheap. Two sticks and a piece of stone. I can do that. That's like making a stone shovel. This thing is nice. And it works just, you know, it don't have a very long range. It only does, I think it's five. I mean, yeah, five blocks is all it will do. But it works like a regular builder. Come on. So, a couple other things. Um, I made a juicer, which is just a st stone pressure plate underneath a piece of stone and this will turn like uh, apples into apple juice and if you hold shift over something like an apple something you can eat you can see the food how many hunger it restores and the saturation so two hunger and one and a half saturation and if we make some apple juice and we'll, s we'll see it recovers two and a half hunger and six saturation so much better if you do apple juice so, also, wood chippings. What are these? Well, if you use your stone hammer and you destroy a tree, wood, then you get these things called wood chippings. And what they do is, well, you can compost them down, eight for a piece of dirt, or you can use them to make paper. Which, that's a pretty good early game paper recipe. There's other things you can do with them as well. But, you can compost it down. It's really good because you get the saplings as well. I'd already destroyed them, the leaves. So, if you have a good amount of wood and you're just power farming for dirt, it's a really good way to go. So, yeah, see. Do it again. See, we got 10 saplings and we got all that as well. Throw our thing in this chest. So, we're going to start this episode out by building a mob farm. I've already, I laid out about 30 blocks going this way. And we're just going to build the old-fashioned little mob farm. Now, what you want to do for this is just, I have it set up to be 9 by 1. Which one's my 1? Four, and then this one will start me going up. Same going this way. One, two, three, four, and this one will start me one going up, and that leads me one where I can go around using my wonderful wood axe. Take that one out. So this is a pretty simple one. You just want to make sure you go up at least. You want to go up four high, and then go across. The reason you go up four high is it leaves three spawnable spots, so you can get some endermen for the always important ender pearl. And ta-da! Throw a torch and we're gonna go to F7 and see our spawnable spaces. And as you see, nothing up top spawnable. So, and then what we're gonna do then is we're gonna come out and we are just going to fill that. And yes, I know there's spawnable spots up there. I will get them in a second. And this is where that builder's wand's gonna come into play. But, oh, So, I'm just going to build this one all the way across. Now, there's two different options you can go with. You can do slabs, it, but you also have the chance of it falling through if you do slabs on the back side. So, I'm just going to... And you can do slabs as well and then build like three or four. And... Oh... Uh, Wah, wah, wah. What? No! Well, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back after our decision to dive into the void. Told you last episode I was going to die. Go back and watch it. Very beginning of the episode. But yeah, one thing I want to point out is last episode I made a stone hammer. I did not need to do that. I could have just made this wooden hammer, which is 
just the same recipe sort of, but wood instead. And it works the same. Obviously, it's got less durability, but same purpose. So let's try to re do finish this little mob farm over here without dying. Get a few more slabs. But yeah. So as I was saying, I don't know if I covered it. You can do slabs here and then keep going out. But I'm just going to do the one by nine. And then if I need more later, we can always add them in. I don't know, think we will. Because we'll get this thing to a big automated farm pretty soon. So let's go up to this side. Put a torch at this end. What if I move the torch at this end? I can. Okay, so what I want to do is just complete this all the way over. And we're good. Don't follow the void. Take that one out. Take this one out. Now, you need to get that filled in. If you don't fill in this backside, you run the risk of the mob drops going through, and you don't want to lose anything. So, you want to finish this layer right here. And then on this one, you want to do slabs. And you, you know, get rid of the slab you used to get up there. Usually helps. But you want to do slabs because they they register with light, if you don't know this, as a whole block. When you put them at the top like that, where the top of the normal lot would be. So light won't pass through them, and you can see in there, you can spawn, as it, and it's dark. But you can get underneath it. And the way this is set up, you put the whole block on top of the bottom half slab and the mobs can't see you but you can still see them and hit them very well so I'm gonna actually expand this out a couple more so that I don't die again probably add some fences there in a bit but now I want to move on to getting our crucible and misplacing blocks apparently so the cru I'll explain the crucible when we get it but it's pretty simple it's just some some clay, but we are going to need some bone meal, which is why I want to go ahead and get that going, so. I'm going to hammer us down, and we're going to get some clay going. I have it over here. Yeah, I have been keeping our, um, infesting leaves tree going so we get more string, and I expanded this out during my death time to speed up the process. But we're going to need two cobble and our wonderful hammer and vein miner. And if you don't remember, I explained the last time how to make um, clay. You just want to keep hammering it down until you get dust and place it in your oak barrel full of water. And you're going to get clay. You're going to want to hammer it all the way. And then break it into the little pieces. Now, if we got a skeleton, I can do it now. If not, then no. no. So I'm going to come back when we get a skeleton and I get some bones. Alright, so we got some skeletons to spawn and collected some bone meal, or some bone. We're going to turn that into bone meal. Now you need seven clay and seven bone meal. And crafting together, you get this porcelain clay, which you can then craft in the shape of a cauldron. And you get this unfried crucible. And you just, same as you did with the clay bucket, you put it in the furnace, you cook it up. While that's cooking up, I do want to talk about this municio lesson. It, that is attainable from your mob farm and mob drops. If you get it, you definitely want to hang on to it because that is what you're going to need to get started into magic crops later on. Okay, so we have our crucible. Let's get some of our cobble. And we're going to use a torch. Now, it needs a heat source up underneath it. We're going to just put it here for now. Or not. I need another slab, don't I? We're going to put it here. And I can put a torch there. And put the crucible. That is, the torch qualifies as a heat source. Albeit not a very good one. And you're going to put some cobble in. It takes four cobble to make you a bucket of lava. And you're just going to wait for that, for the cobble to burn down into lava. And that is how you're going to start getting your first cobble gen. So, while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start building our cobble gen. Now, you can always use dirt. 
to build your cobble gin so that it don't burn. But what you can also use is these crafting table or crafting station slabs. They look, they're ugly, they don't look good, but they work. And you can use wood with water though. Uh, where we want to put our, our thing at? We'll put it right over here. We'll go out one. I'm just going to build a basic little cobble gin and then I'll come back when I build it. You should, most people probably build one. Alright, so our lava has finished. And we have a lava clay bucket. Now remember, you can only use the clay bucket with lava once. So, hope it works. And just a simple little cobble gin farm here. I got it, the water going down, falling into the one block hole so that it won't run into our lava. And then just got this on some crafting stations. And it works. We hope. And we have a cobble gin. I'm gonna use a hammer with this one. Cause to get the gravel. And as I was about, you can sieve the gravel and you can get resources. Like, we got a piece of broken iron ore. So, you can get, actually, I will pull up what all you can get from it. Yeah, yeah you, that's how you get diamonds, emeralds, lapis, flint, coal, and then all your other, just your resources. 20% chance for iron, where you have a 1% chance for diamond. So, I'm going to get some gravel, and sieve it up, and see what all we get. Alright, I'm back. I've done some sifting, got us some, or some sieving, got us some resources and some redstone. And I've been occasionally coming over here to our mob farm. Been trying to get an enderman, still haven't. So, just kind of clearing it out. One day. But we, I did manage to get an uncommon loot bag. Let's see what we get out of this. We get dark steel, a conduit, conduit probe, and a mundane ring. Oh, let's throw it up here. That's what I've collected so far from saving. Nothing too spectacular, just some resources. So, but what I want to do, I'm tired of manually mining cobblestone already. So I am going to automate it and do that we're going to do the world interaction upgrade on a transfer node so yeah I also if you can't tell I moved in our crucible to our lava and also tidied this up a little bit made it a little bit smaller less bulky looking and I built the diamond one it was just one diamond and it helped a lot for speeding up going from gravel to sand to dust so I recommend that but what you, you can do with your, your your broken ore you get is if you craft it two by two you get the ore gravel and you can hammer it up and it goes to crushed ore you craft that in a two by two to get sand and then you hammer the sand and you get dust and the reason you want to keep going all the way down is it gives you a higher chance of getting an extra drop. Sometimes it'll drop five instead of four, so you gain. So we got five aluminum ore, basically. Now, I'm just going to cook it up regularly. Oh, actually, I have another cobble that I didn't do. That's going to give us six, which is perfect for, for what I need. And we have the wonderfulness of iron ore and as you can see builders one got a decent amount of iron enough for what we're gonna do and we have 15 iron ore and now we have seven aluminum so I'm gonna smelt this down and I will be right back all right, so our ingots have cooked down, and now we're ready to get going with automating our cobblestone. So we're going to need a transfer pipe.
and then we're going to need a tra an item transfer node. Now, using a redstone block, you get one. You can if you have an inner pearl, you get four. But I have not been able to get an inner pearl yet. So, and I've got a chest. I am going to just use the redstone and because that's what I have and eh, once I get it going it won't be too big of a deal anyway nine redstone is not that much so with this you're gonna need a world interaction upgrade which is just an iron pickup iron pickaxe with iron in the corner or lapis in the corner and iron in your four directions and once again I forgot to prepare for that so there's our iron pickaxe and now we have our wonderful world interaction okay and this is gonna mine cobble for us but we are gonna need somewhere to put it so I'm going to quickly get a barrel and that is that now what I'm gonna do though is I'm going to run it over the top of our crucible so that this way it will automatically fill up our crucible and you gotta put the world if you gotta put the world interaction ring in there and it won't fill it up on the sides but if you if the transfer pipe is on the top it will automatically fill up your crucible and then the excess is just gonna go into our barrel which I want right off to the side and lock our barrel and we now have a steady supply of cobblestone and this is pretty fast too now the last thing I want to do is we have a lot of books we've collected so far so we're gonna make a bookcase and it's just that right there just a little bit of wood got us an oak bookcase yeah I also as you can see I made regular furnaces we'll put it in front of our bed because you always need to read and it holds our books for us get some out of our chest now I want to look at the achievement book so this is just a little bit of credits for your Sky Factory 2.5. And the achievement book you don't have to do, but I think it'd be a nice little goal for us to complete it. So let's see, we've done the crook, we've made dirt, we've infested a leaves from the steel corner, we've used a crook to get string, we've cracked a sieve, done it, done it, done it, I've done it. We have not made Tinker's Construct tools. Let's do that really quick. So, last episode we crafted up our part builder, tool station, and all that. And I have come prepared. We're going to make two pickaxes. I'll explain why in a minute. And I'm going to use a flint head for my tools because compared to, if you compare it to bone, you see it's a little bit faster. But then I'm going to use bone rods because they have better durability. And I'm just gonna, you can use bone mill for the tool rods, and it, they're pretty good tool rods. Now, I do want to make a tool binding. Actually, I'm gonna do two of them. So we'll just do wooden tool bindings, because your wooden bindings do not matter. Also, I want to make an, a flint axe as well. When you come over to your tool station, you got pickaxe. And we now have two and an axe. So we now have Tinker's tools. Now you might have been asking, why did I make two pickaxes? Well, one of them we're going to turn into basically a hammer, if this is in the pack. And you can use a diamond hammer. And apply a modifier to a pickaxe and you get the hammered modifier and we're gonna need some speed on that yikes we're that's not gonna work right now we're gonna need some speed so when that works but then you can do that and it works like a hammer and use get some very good durability so between episodes I'm going to extend out our platform get us some more resources and get get a setup going there get us a little bit of basement going for machines and maybe next time we'll get started in the power
So thank you for watching. I'm going to end the episode here. Remember to like it, comment, hit that subscribe button. You rock.